Hello lovely bookworms and I'm Esme and I'm Femka and welcome to a new video. As you can see we are together again with very sweaty faces. It's horrible. It's very warm. It's like a gazillion degrees but yeah. We decided to film a video anyway because we don't see each other a lot during the summer. This is my bed as you probably know. If you don't you know now. And today we thought we'd talk about the most anticipated releases for the next half year of this year. Most of half year? Yeah, most of most of this half year. We didn't year. find a lot for like November and December, so those aren't really included, but we might do another video on those months. If we'll there's see. anything interesting. We'll see. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get into it. For the first most anticipated release is Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. This is kind of a Little Mermaid inspired retelling. I'm not sure if it's really a retelling, but it's at least inspired by The Little Mermaid and I think especially Ursula. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. I think it may be like an origin story for Ursula in that sense. So I'm really excited to see what Sarah has done with the story. I'm just very bad at book descriptions, so I just agree with mostly anything at this point. Yeah. The second book that I think we both are very excited for, even though I haven't read anything mostly me. leading up to it, <laughs> but I'm kind of excited for it. And that is Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Per Pearson. I cannot pronounce names today, or talk at all. I'm sorry. This is situated in the same world as The Kiss of Deception is. Other than that, I have to say I don't know too much about it. Like I said in previous videos, I suck at book descriptions, but nonetheless, I'm very excited to Because read it. basically, Mary E. Pearson, World of Kiss of Deception, is love. The next book that I think we are both quite excited for is These Rebel Waves by Sarah Rush. Rush. Yeah, from the Snow Like Ashes yeah. trilogy. Yeah. I haven't read Snow Like Ashes yet, but the, the premise of this sounded really exciting. It's pirates and princes and mutiny and action and, and awesomeness, basically. So it was like, oh, pirates! Oh, yeah. I mean, I really enjoyed her other tri trilogy, the Snow Like Ashes trilogy, so I'm very excited to read this book. Yeah, like I said, I haven't read those yet, but they're like on my TBR. You'll, you'll, you'll get there. There's Somewhere. a lot of things on my TBR that you've yeah. already read, so it's fine. Then the next book that we are both very excited for, I think most of the books on this list we're both very excited for, is Sea Fire. To be honest, I have to say that one of the things that tr drew me in for this book is the cover. The cover is absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. Beside uh, the cover, I don't know a whole lot about it, but just the combination Sea Fire plus beautiful cover is like... Okay, I'm excited yeah. for this. And back in the I'm day, I did read this. the synopsis and I thought, okay, this is my yeah. book, so... Yeah, I remember reading the synopsis, but I don't, don't remember. remember the synopsis. <laughs> no. It's basically, I read a synopsis, think, oh, this is interesting, and then by the time I actually get around to reading a book or when it gets published, I don't remember it at no, all. No, it's like, oh, what was this about? Yeah. It, it, it's probably good because it's on my TBR. Mm. It's kind of, kind of the same thing with the next one, which is yes. Mirage by Somaya Daoud. Doubt. I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry if I butchered it, but I'm not gonna try. No. <laughs> um, again, this is... We, I don't know a whole lot about it. It is sci-fi. I do know it's sci-fi. And I do know the cover is beautiful. It's purple, which is like my favorite color, yes, so... Yes, it's your favorite color. It's Equal, just, equals excitement. There's not a lot to, to say about these books. I like to go into a book not knowing too much about it, which is just... That just makes me excited. The next book is one, I think one of the ones on this list, among a few others, that we're most excited for, and that is All the Wandering Lights by Heather Fawcett. We read the first one, Even the Darkest Stars, this year both, I think. We yeah, both read it this I think year. in May. I think we read it in May. It, it was amazing. I think this is, is a duology, so this will be the last book, I think. I thought it was going to be a trilogy, but I could be wrong. I... me too. I we'll let you know. <laughs> but I am very excited for this book. Yeah, especially after how the first book ended. I'm like... the second book cannot like be published soon enough. No. It's like I need it... Now. Yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Basically. 
Which is also the same with the next book on oh this list. God. Because that is Escaping from Houdini by, by Carrie Maniscalco, Maniscalco, which is the third book in the Stock and Jack the Ripper series. series. The first two I get were very excited. absolutely amazing, in my opinion. It's not my typical fantasy read, but no. I just, I loved... Ugh. I Thomas. just loved it. Every yeah, but <laughs> Thomas Thomas also is the world and yes, and, and the descriptions and and the characters. The I just, I just absolutely love those books. So I'm really excited yeah. um, to see what happens in this one. And I also yeah. really like how every book is kind of a separate story, but yeah. they're also all tied together and they all happen because of yeah. things that happened in the previous books. Yeah. Sorry if that was confusing, but kudos if you know what I mean. Talking about most anticipated reads. If you know us just a tiny, tiny little bit, you know which one is coming. Yeah, we because both... we also mentioned it <laughs> yes. in previous videos. Yes. So we both the... mentioned it at the same time, the mid-year book freakout tag. And that is, shall we just say it together? News of Nightmares, Nightmares by Lenny, Lenny Taylor. Taylor. Oh my god. It's like, it's, I'm so excited <laughs> that it's, it's like almost here, but not quite yet. And it's yeah. like, I can't oh. wait anymore, but I just, I need it. And I'm so scared. Yeah, I read some, some reviews for people who had an arc and like, the list of trigger warnings kind of scares me a little bit. Everything scares me about this book. True. True. Including the ending of the previous one. If you've read Strange Dreamer, you know what we're talking about. Yeah. This book is just... But so good. And I am talking okay. I'm talking so good that Femke has four copies and I will have three. That's how good we're talking. And I don't really do dual copies. No, me neither. And I will have three and two of them have the same cover. But one of them same. has gold sprayed edges, okay? It's, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's, we're we're it's, okay. It's, we're it's, okay. It's, Our bank accounts are not, but we're okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. The next book is I think it's a standalone, and that is Damsel by... I'm sorry, I don't okay. know... I do know what it is about, though, for once. I forgot the author's name. But we'll post a picture, and you can see the author's name on, on the there. cover. Yeah. But basically what this book is about, it is about a prince-to-be-king who needs to slay a dragon to save the damsel. And the damsel in his story is called Ama, and the prince is called Amori, if I'm right. Yeah. So he saves the princess, or well, to be princess, and she doesn't know anything about the dragon or her life before she was actually saved. And then she realizes that the danger that she, you know, faced before might even be greater now that she is in court and to be queen. Which is basically what the story revolves around. That was a pretty decent description of that a book. That was a pretty decent, I'm proud of you. Well done. That's a first. Well done. <laughs> Well, since you kind of took this one away from me, I'm going to do the next one as well. That's 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 okay. I'm sorry. Which I'm sure most of you will know, and that is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J. Maas, yes. which is the final book, kind of hopefully, in the Throne of Glass series. Yes. Um, I was really excited that it was going to come last year, but then it didn't, and then it kept getting pushed back and then we got and Tower of Dawn yeah which was which, kind of meh which I didn't read yet because I do not like Kale hello unpopular opinions I, I, I don't think I, that's an unpopular opinion necessarily but semi unpopular I read it and I have to say I wasn't it wasn't as horrible as I feared it would be it was kind of okay but I'm still I'm super excited for Kingdom of Ash and I'm really excited to see how the series will be wrapped up and I really hope that it won't let me like leave me disappointed as yeah, Aquamar I agree. did. I agree. I mean, I have the same thing. Like, I'm not saying A Court of Wings and Ruin was necessarily a bad book, but just in comparison to the rest of the series, for me, it was such a letdown. Yeah. The way it was ended, it was just, I was so disappointed, and it yeah, it's then you just got... it left a sour taste in my mouth. Yeah. And I really hope that she doesn't do that in Kingdom of Ash. And I mean, obviously, if people are killed, I'm going to be happy. But yeah. The thing with Aquaor just was that it just seemed, even though it was a, fan a fantasy read, it seemed unrealistic. And everything went too easily, in yeah. my opinion. Okay, on to the next book. The next book is a third book, I think in a trilogy. Yeah, I think it's the final book. Yeah. And that is A Sorrow, Fierce and Falling by Jessica... Clues. Clues, yes. Clues, Clues. And 
we've both read the first two books and while the second book we both love the first one we yes. love most of the second one until like the last two chapters yeah so we really hope that it's going to be explained like yeah. what the fuck happened in those, the end of the second book those sad two because chapters. that was like complete 180 yeah but, but i am very excited because the characters in there some of the characters i truly truly love but and i think also are really amazing. like the world and, yes. and the the story and like the the yeah. monsters i'm gonna just call them the yeah. monsters and the you know the magicness of the the world that's yeah. not a word but you know what i mean the magic system yeah that's fine too <laughs> the final book on this list is it is an anticipated release for me not so much yet for you because it you still will have, be yeah but you still have to read the first one and that is the caged queen which is the second book in the Last Namzara trilogy series series thingy by Kristen Sicarelli. I read the uh, first book a little while ago, a few months ago, and I really, really loved it. I really loved how fast paced it was, how action packed it was. I mean, it has dragons, so that's always a bonus. Yes. Um, and the covers are beautiful in addition, so I'm really excited to see, especially after that ending how the next one uh, will continue the story. Yeah. I mean, I haven't read the first one yet. I'm planning to read it during the Booktubeathon, if I manage to read that many books, but, you know, that's fine. And uh, I think it will also be a, you know, very anticipated read for me, but I can't say that yet, considering I've not read the first one. Those were all the books that we could think of from the top of our head that we're very excited about. And um, what book are you excited about? Le leave that down below. I think I think we want to say thank you for watching. I hope I hope you enjoy your video with the two of us. Yeah, and if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever Esme or I or both of us like post a video. Like today. <laughs> um, and we will see you next time. Yes. Bye. Bye.